Okay, welcome back. This is uh, theCUBE. We are here at HP Discover 2013. We're in Las Vegas. This is HP Discover's flagship program. They're their customers, their partners, the tech geeks and gurus, and here really sharing all the new announcements. This is SiliconANGLE's theCUBE. We go here where the signal is, and that's where we are. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante at Wikibon.org. Craig Nunez is here. He's the Vice President of Marketing for HP Storage. Craig. Welcome back, uh, multi-time Cube Harden guest. Uh, thanks for coming on. And, <laughs> Cube Harden, yes. Yeah, and, thank you for thanks having so much me. For, thanks for having it. us here. You guys, this great set that you guys have. Awesome, HP. Just how many people are here this year? Gosh, uh, I'd be uh, just guessing, but it's uh, you know probably around ten thousand. Okay, okay, so that's it. Feels great. I mean, it feels big. It yeah, feels, but than, it's comfortable. Bigger than yeah, last year. Yeah, no, it's great. So it's you guys great. got some hot news, you know? We got the deep dive. I said to Milan, we got the Kool Aid injection a couple of weeks ago, which was good. We had a really. I liked what you guys did. You 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 you, you brought in a lot of people and mm -hmm. took us through the sort of roadmap. Yeah. And uh, and so we know a lot about what you announced today. But uh, why don't we share with the audience what uh, what you you announced here at the show? Sure. Yeah. Um, the, uh, there are really a couple of uh, a couple of things we talked about. One was in the area of three part store serve and an all flash array, um, the store serve seventy four fifty. And the big deal here is uh, this is a platform that brings the performance, the efficiency, and the media endurance characteristics that you got to have with flash. That's why people are buying them to accelerate their applications as cost effectively as possible. So you got all that. But what we also brought was the uh, system resiliency and availability features that tier one you know, mission critical data require. Also, the you know, live data mobility through federation capability to get stuff on and off your all flash array. So it's the best of both worlds because we have customers saying, look, I, I, I'm concerned about traditional architectures. They can't address the performance and efficiency needs that I, I want to use for flash. There's a lot of new companies out there, uh, paint still wet on their architecture and services. So I, I'm kind of nervous about that. And by the way, not a lot in the area of, of resiliency. So. Um, you know, we think we've kind of got the right combination for what folks are looking yeah, for. Yeah, Federation is something we didn't talk to Milan Shetty about, and that's very unique in the industry. But Donatelli this morning sort of set it up. He said, look, you, you either have a, a disk-based controller that you know can't handle the flash, that's you know, trade-off one, or you have a, you know, modern you know, Silicon Valley startup flash with no stack. Right. Um, and so you guys have come up with the, the best of both worlds. Yeah. Uh, I call it the God box of, of Flash, <laughs> um, and so now I got to ask you. So you like made your mark with three par of attacking companies trying to bolt on thin provision right. and and, uh, and and did some damage, you know, in the marketplace. Um, doing more damage today, you know, uh, significantly more than you were, did when you were three par now that you were with HP. Uh, but so a lot of people are going to say, hey, that's a bolt on. Sure. Why is this not a bolt-on? We talked to Milan about it a little bit, but yeah. give us your marketing take. Yeah, so um, um, I, I would expect uh, uh, folks who don't have products or uh, capable products to, to sling that kind of stuff. The, the reality is, look, don't, don't take it from a marketing guy. Lift, lift up the hood and take a look at the technology. And you know what we introduced today was not just a uh, three-par uh, array with uh, SSDs in it, right? In fact, that was you know, kind of the end of the project. The beginning of the project uh, was all about some really important cache optimization features we drove. I mean, we drive some granularity in the I.O. between the controller and the flash um, that uh, you can only find in a handful of vendors in the industry. I mean, we'll, we'll do you know, 512 byte reads, right? 2,000 times smaller than a VNX, for example, right? Uh, that's important because latency is important on the back end, right? So we, we've driven some important optimizations in the software. We also had the foresight to um, uh, inject an enhancement into the three-par ASIC to give us uh, a level of you know, you know, silicon-enabled uh, acceleration. We've taken advantage of that ASIC 
the HDD world, but we, it was a great opportunity to really use that here to drive uh, some of the performance we were looking for. Well, like I said, don't, let's not take the marketing guy's word for it. The market's going to decide, ultimately. Yeah. And so you've got, you and I have had uh, discussions over the last several years about sort of rethinking the definition of tier one storage. Three yeah. bar obviously has, is really the only new entrance, entrance into that whole tier one space. You know, you got the high end you know, IBM. And, and EMC and Hitachi and yeah. three parts right there, clearly stealing share um, in that in that high-end IDC price band. Uh, and then all of a sudden, Flash comes along. This notion of all flash arrays, and one can say, "Wow, these these are the new tier ones." You call them tier zero, but you could see them if they have the stack, you know, right. replacing yeah. a lot of that value. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you know, who knows what happens to that traditional yeah. right. tier one? Yeah. Um, and so. The market's going to decide, you know, whether or not your architecture is yeah. worthy of, yeah. of, of doing that. And you guys have made that bet. Yeah. Um, and you know, so far it's you know, held up yeah. to the test of, of, I, of a decade. I, I would also tell you the um, we are um, where we are today, and and we're able to do do those enhancements today because of some very smart guys, you know, a few years ago, right? The guys who put together. The, the architecture, the three-par operating system, that, um, you know, that was a, 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 a labor of, you know, trying to unlock the back-end performance of an array, right? Back-end performance is limited to spending media, a couple of hundred IOPS per disk, and, you know, th that's kind of how that world revolved. And, and the whole approach they took was, how do I aggregate every drive in a thousand drive array and you know, hammer that through the controller infrastructure. So guess what? Dual controllers, no way. That isn't the approach they were taking. It had to be a very clustered approach where they could aim all that front end <coughs> horsepower at that workload. And guess what? All we're doing is replacing a thousand drives with you know 50, 50 flash drives, right? It's it's not a big change for the system. The real change came in that cash to flash optimization. So, you know, I want folks to understand, you know, we were, you know, we were we were lucky, we were good, you know, whichever way you want to go on no, that, combination, we have right? that that architecture that frankly, you know, folks who are starting today to do this are are, are taking a page from our book. Well, thank God for three par, because uh, HP storage would be a deep doo-doo without it. I have to say that, because <laughs> you got, it's true, you got, you, and, and this is what's so interesting about your business. I mean, you got the, the, the huge install base declining, uh, and you got three par growing like nuts, I mean, you know, 80% plus growth. So you got to throw even more gas on that fire, because you got to get the new stuff outpacing, you know, the old stuff. And you, you're, you looks like you're almost there, yeah. you know, like really, really close. And I've said a number of times, HP in general across the board might have to shrink to grow. And I think it's true for, you know, a lot of the, the divisions within company so so to me the all flash erase throws gas on that yeah. fire yeah I, I, I uh, well, first of all I have to tell you the real secret to three-part success absolutely killer marketing <laughs> no well, yeah well of course but seriously it's not the products don't really you know. <laughs> um, the products are table stakes <laughs> the uh, so the thing about this all flash array so we're talking to a lot of folks here at Discover. I mean, it is packed around the booth. You can't even get close to the system. Um, and a lot of folks, it's, I mean, it's, it's hot and it's sexy, right? Um, for a lot of these folks, they're, they might not buy one. Why? If, if you don't have the right application to you know, drive the upside for the business, you know, Flash is going to you know, cost you a few bucks. Guess what? They're going to turn around and buy you know, a, a three-par store serve 7,000, the, the mid-range array we, we introduced in December, or maybe they'll go to a 10,000, a, a high-end array, and, and they'll run some combination of HDD and SSD. But the, the you know, the, the lights go on, because they're going, wait a minute, you started with tier one high-end, you know, for the cloud, uh, you went to the mid-range, you know, twenty twenty-five thousand dollar $25,000, you know, entry price point for the lineup. Now you're doing flash, this, this platform really can do it all, right? And so maybe I don't need Flash today, but I, I, I want to buy into a platform that can go wherever my, my business needs to take it, right? So that's been a huge takeaway. And for the guys who are taking advantage 
of three part today wheeling in uh, and all flashed here they're going man i'm there because i already get it and i already am going to see how i can take advantage of services across those platforms now so it's part of my architecture right? what about the economics of flash everybody you know two years ago it was like oh flash is too expensive flash is too expensive but yeah you know you think about the tier one arrays they got 15k rpm drives they're short stroking them i mean that that looks like a dead duck yeah um and so can you talk a little bit about the economics and and, and you know the cost is an issue right i mean yeah. it's it's never i mean all things being equal you know going to come down yeah. the cost and then everything's not always equal but you know markets again markets going to decide whether or not you guys you know going to have the most cost effective platform out there, you betting you are. But talk about the economics of Flash. Yeah, so look, I uh, I never take a bet that I that I don't know I'll win, right? If if I if if I um, am going into You bet this, a lot with this, like 10 year olds. This, <laughs> okay. If I would never take advantage. <laughs> well, maybe I would for for certain friends of mine, but um, the um, compaction story around Flash is a huge enabler, right? Because otherwise, uh, you know, the, the, the 10 to 1 difference or whatever it is, uh, is going to uh, hold folks back from adoption. So the, the um, I pulled some stats from our installed base, right? Um, and uh, just looking at the last quarter, I pulled a sample that said, um, uh, looking at all of our thin volumes exported to host, you know, what the server saw in capacity, the actual provision storage, one third. One third of what hosts thought they had, right? Real life today with customers. And we know that, you know, thin technologies, the uh, 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 zero detection in silicon, we know that runs as fast as you can pump data through it at flash speeds, right? So how about, here's the value proposition, how about you buy one third the capacity and still get all of the flash performance you want. That starts to bring flash into, you know, into a lot of folks' budgets. And, and so that's why yeah. we think we've got it. Have you ever had to pay one of those guarantees? Have you never ne never paid it? Not no, once. so you know, you're mentioning that and, and I have to say we we know that because we don't just take your word for it. We actually analyzed the metadata coming out of customers' controllers, three part controllers, we did a statistical analysis yeah. on it, and everything else, and you know, three part you know, nailed it. So okay. So that's cool. You got some other knobs that you can turn over time with whatever, compression, and dedupe, and so forth. So that's cool. All right, what else? We, we're, we're sort of running up against the clock here. I can't stop talking about all flash arrays and three par. <laughs> the other but, thing that I got to tell you, the other thing I got to tell you about is, um, you know, our big push in uh, software defined storage. Um, and this is, this is something that, you know, the words are, I think, pretty new, right? We're dealing with software-defined data center, software-defined storage. Yeah, less than a year um, old. You know? Yeah, uh, but but would you believe that uh, we've been doing software-defined storage since before it was cool, since 2007 with uh, our store virtual, virtual storage appliance, formerly known as Left Hand. And um, and we've seen a, you know, a nice uptick in demand since a lot of the discussion here. And we, we brought that notion of you know a full suite of storage software provisioned as a VM to information protection. And so our store once lineup, our purpose-built backup appliance running deduplication from HP Labs, we took that software from the appliance and we now are delivering that as a virtual storage appliance, a VM-based backup appliance. So great for you know, remote office uh, deployments where you want to keep a local backup, or an SMB who just doesn't want another box. It's the perfect convergence approach for them, or service providers who are looking to spin up a very flexible infrastructure for their customers, spin it up, tear it down, you know. SPs are using that, interesting, okay. Absolutely, very interested. And you it's got an API, can I get it to tunnel in through an API to that, to that platform yet, or? Well, as it turns out, uh, uh, the store virtual VSA is uh, manageable by uh, OpenStack, manageable by uh, Cinder. In fact, uh, we've had a lot to do with uh, the Cinder 
uh, work. I was on GitHub the other day confirming that everybody's talking the game. <laughs> it's uh, HP, IBM, Red IBMers Hat. are in there, yeah. Um, yeah. Solid Fire yeah. is a yeah. big contributor. Yeah. yeah, EMC's in there a little bit. Yeah. You know, yeah. a couple others, maybe I'm Citrix. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. It's um, we love the model. I mean, we've seen seen how it's gone on yeah. mobile phones, right? Android's really, you know, become the become the dominant. Stack operating rocks, system out you know. there. Open source is a great place. Yeah, so SDN, you're there, but in, in, and you'll evolve that. This idea of storage as a platform is pretty interesting. You know, yeah, yeah. Open stack is the orchestration layer, mm -hmm. APIs in. Yeah, yeah, leverage, and leverage and your infrastructure. Services. And I, I would defy you to figure how much CPU resource and how much disk is unused in, in these servers these days, and just think, hey, if a little software can enable Shared storage yeah, can cool take that. advantage of older assets and you know, show a decent ROI. Why wouldn't you? Right? Well, you've got you know the architecture of three part. You've got the virtualized, you know, the back end, the yeah. abstracted, you know, the, the yeah. physical hardware. Absolutely, that's yeah. good. Yeah, heterogeneous. That's an interesting play. Is that's that's something that you guys have never been big on. You know, connecting, what do you mean? Connecting up heterogeneous devices. Well, in a way. Um, you know what we're talking about here, and the beauty of a VM-based storage device, the CERT matrix, the QA matrix, uh, is no longer physical from our perspective. It's the hypervisor. Yeah. Okay. So it's up matrix. to so, so OpenStack, VMware. It's up to yeah, VMware and Microsoft and yeah, and Citrix, so uh, yeah. so we and we tap any storage. Washing your hands of that. That's any nice. storage. Yeah. yeah it free up a few R and D dollars. To, <laughs> that's good. Good answer. So. Yeah, right. it's good for customers too. So. All right. Anything else you want to get in before we get to the We talked about my my two two uh, favorites today, but I could store be here once, all uh, day. Soundbite on store once before we break. Store once, still the uh, broadest lineup in the industry, getting broader now with uh, uh, our VSA, and um, you know, store once is all about you know the most efficient and fastest backup uh, out there. Still, um, um, no one can. Do it uh, for uh, uh, no one can do it faster and at a better price. So. Awesome. All right, Craig. Well, listen. Thanks very much for coming on the cube. Craig Nunez uh, runs storage marketing. Does a, doing a great job. Keep it up. Secret weapon marketing. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yes. We'll be right back. George Kadifa is here, and uh, this is the cube. We're live at HP Discover. We're right back after this.